Chuck Schumer suggested Biden should forgive students the first $50,000 in student loan debt with an executive order. Now, um, here's the thing that people don't understand about this. People think, oh, that sounds great. Student student loans, right? Most people watch this who got in protest and go, ah, I'm bogged down with student loans. Um, you should be. You made bad choices. Mm -hmm. Not everyone, <laughs> but most of you. Oh, I'm bogged down with student loans, right. says nobody who aced their way through medical school residency and then actually fulfilled their chosen profession. That's not what happens. Same thing if you go to law school. In general, underwater basket weaving gender studies, you might be out there at a Bernie yeah. rally. I understand where you're coming from. I just, I'm trying to walk a mile in your shoes, but they're Toms. <laughs> so here's something people understand. The highest income households in the United States owe 60% of student loan debt, yeah. while the lowest income households owe less than 20% of outstanding student loan debt. Because lower income households, they typically either go to a community college, a trade school, or get something known as a scholarship. Ah, the people yeah. who have crazy student loan debt are people who shift their majors every three years from German poetry to gender studies to Afro-lesbian studies, which is actually an actual thing it is in thing. Michigan. It is. And then all of a sudden you find yourself sick you find yourself accounting for 60% of the student loan debt. Think about this for a second. This is effectively a handout to the wealthy. The major 56% of student loan debt is for graduate school. Unbelievable. Hmm. You really? Be yeah, 56% of student loan debt, we have this is from the Brookings uh, Institute, is for graduate wow. school. Most people with advanced degrees who owe a lot, they should they should pay it off easily unless it's a useless degree. Right. And out for the wealthy. <laughs> yeah. Right. We talk about the, the, the NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. You yeah. look at Joe Biden's policies and Barack Obama's policies, and you look at the unemployment rate in the United States. You look how it affected black American families. You look how the average household income only went up by a thousand dollars in eight years under Obama. Mm. And then you look at five thousand on average under the first term of Donald Trump. And you look at this, and people say, Oh, that sounds people shouldn't have student debt. Well, first off, incorrect. People <laughs> should have student debt if they go to schools and they decide to procure like, a degree that is yeah. useless or that costs a lot of money. Anyone can go to a community college and anyone can get their grades up and get a scholarship. I ha I know a kid who was a pothead loser in high school. Hi. Sorry, George. <laughs> Sorry, he's he's a he's a Harvard law grad. Kumada. Yeah. He's he's wow. the guy who Bill uh, Bill was introduced by this guy. Yeah, yeah. This friend Great of mine. Guy. He was a pothead burnout. Then he met a wonderful woman who he's married to now. He said, "You're going to get your crap together." Went to community college, got straight A's. Went to UT, got straight A's, then went to Harvard on some kind of a he had some kind of a grant or scholarship because yeah. he was an outstanding student. Got straight A's, graduated cum laude. This is a kid who came from a rough background, from a poor background, and he was already behind the eight ball because he was doing nothing but skateboarding and smoking weed all day. Now I know the potheads out there who are going to get mad. I'm not saying that everyone who smokes a pothead is a burnout loser, <laughs> though you probably are if you're offended by this and you're going to comment in the section. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, think you're high, you. I don't think you're one of the high-functioning executives who occasionally yeah. dabbles in tincture. I think <laughs> that you are what we're talking about. Well, some of us went to Lansing Community College and sold drugs and paid off their tuition in fives and tens. See? Ah. <laughs> and that's called America. Yeah, that's it hard is. work. Yeah. That's <laughs> entrepreneurship right there, business. baby. It yeah. really does bother me, though. It's like, you don't have to go to college. No. This no. is your yeah. choice. Don't. Be right. responsible for the decision that you've made no, 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 to no, do no, this no. with your life. This is a perfect example of, it sounds good on paper, and what the media right. does is try and say, oh, look, this will help people of color. This will help the, the disenchanted minorities in this country who need a leg up, they are not the people who are uh, incurring most of the student loan debt. It's usually people yeah. who come from well-to-do families who decide to go into useless degrees and fields, and for some reason now you, the working class American citizen who did not impale yourself on the spike of student debt, you are going to be the one left with the bill. You're going to foot the bill for uh, for, for, for for Courtney who decided to go get a German dance, a German dance degree. Mm. That's what this forgiveness is. You, working on, and you wonder why why the union members, not the union leaders, not the union actual representatives, but people who are members of unions in the Midwest overwhelmingly voted for Donald Trump because these people are working on the assembly line and then they, they're they talking about under this, this potential president, yeah. depending on the state, up to 62% marginal tax rates wow. paying for kids who are getting degrees in gender studies and poetry and philosophy. Of course that plays poorly with the American public and that's why it's remarkable that Joe Biden could win an election. The only reason that he would be able to is because the media never talks about this because he doesn't speak the language of the middle class. He hasn't seen Scranton. Also, he didn't win the election. Mm, that's there, true. There, allow, me to, allow me to sort of help you follow the money trail. Okay. All right. Here's Timmy. He's getting a degree in Afro-lesbian centric studies. Okay. <laughs> Afro-lesbian funk. Okay. At U of Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Right, here he is. Funk. He gets a loan. Here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's the two universities. Here's Timmy. Okay. So you know what? Here. Let's, let's, uh, let's move this. This yeah, yeah. 
is Timmy. Hey, Timmy. This is the university. This is the loan. Yeah. All right. So Timmy wants to go to the university and get a degree in uh, Afro, lesbian, funk. Okay. He gets a loan from the bank, and that gets paid to the university, right, at this point. And, of course, that's paid with interest. The university yeah. gets the money. This money has already gone through. So now Timmy has a useless degree, and he's in debt. And what's going to happen is he owes the bank. The university already has the money. Now what they're going to do is absolve him of his debt by giving this money to the bank. What do you think happens with that school? <laughs> we got away with that one. Let's yep. charge more money next time. Yeah. Yeah. There's a <laughs> yeah. lot more people that can afford it. What do we charge him? We charge him $50,000 so we could make, make up the difference with an out-of-state grant. All right, let's yeah. let's time to charge him $75,000. The government's going to step in and pay it anyway. <laughs> Stupid factory workers. Shouldn't have gone to trade school, bitches. Think about that right, for a yeah. second. It's going to make it worse. Of course that's going to cause inflation. There's no reason for schools to compete and bring down tuition costs. The idea of forgiving student loans encourages the actual. Now, people use the term predatory lending right, yeah. with banks, where it's like, no, this, again, the problem there, when all of these scenarios, the same thing with school tuition, in every scenario when you look at out-of-control inflated costs, what you find is government interventionism. Do, okay, yeah. let's look at the industry. Insurance. Yep. Right? Airlines. Uh, uh, student loans, right? When you deal with just any mm. kind of medical, any kind of medical issue. Do you want you want to tell me that those are on energy? Those are unregulated industries. For crying out, this always makes it worse. What makes yeah. it worse when you say, "Oh, everyone has to purchase health insurance. We're going to punish them. We're going to we're actually going to charge you a fine if you don't purchase health insurance." By the way, health insurance you have to accept anyone with pre-existing conditions. Right. Oh, good. Well, then at that point, I guess could, do we? Uh, we but is there like a limit on the rate we can charge? No, no limit. Okay, yeah. then it's uh, twenty thousand dollars a month. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Fed. What do you think happens with with uh, houses? People say predatory lending. All right, the government steps in and says, you are going to lend this money to these people who cannot afford this house. Right. That's not really what we do here at this bank of yeah. making money. Oh, really? Well, here's the thing. If they can't actually pay you back, uh, we're going to give you the money. All right, sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like they're explaining to, <laughs> explaining to insurance people what insurance is. And the insurance people are like, no, the you can't accept people with pre-existing yeah. debts. Right, right. That's not what insurance is. No, no, no. Is. And they're, already, yeah, they're just like, well, just, just charge them more. Oh, okay, yeah. and then we'll pay the bill. And yeah. then you go yeah. to schools. So oh. we have homes, we have insurance, and now we have schools. If they go to kids, where they, they go, okay, listen, so uh, if, they, if school, let's say you can, you can afford, what, $10,000? All right, we're going to charge $50,000 because Uncle Sam is none the wiser. Yeah. There are a bunch of grants and scholarships that we can find to make up that difference. There's an incentive to make school unaffordable. Otherwise, you're leaving tens of thousands of federal dollars on the table. In all of these yeah. scenarios, it's the government coming, and by the government, I mean the taxpayer's dime at which Joe Biden has suckled at the teat, upon the teat of the taxpayer for 67 years now at this point. They are the ones who come in and they say, oh, you know what, we'll just pay for Timmy's Afro lesbian funk degree. And what happens? Yeah. Inflation out of control. Yeah. You saw it with home mortgage. You saw it with homes, people getting homes they couldn't afford. You saw it with insurance premiums yeah. and deductibles skyrocketing. And you see it with student loan costs. What you have to do is actually stop subsidizing these schools and their predatory rates. These people are taking advantage of students by charging them more than they can afford because the federal government makes up the gap. That's where it's predatory, not banks being forced at a gun of Bur Bernie of uh, 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 Fannie Mae Freddie Mac to <laughs> yeah. give a house mm. to someone who can't afford it. I don't care what the big short tells. Yeah. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10:15 Eastern.